Equation 8.13b is derived completely from a theory, the kinetic theory of gases, and you can see the derivation in box 8.2. But it's quite easy to show how this theoretical equation is equivalent to the experimental ideal gas equation PV equals nRT. Let's write it alongside here, and remember that it is an empirical law derived completely from experiments. Now both these equations have the PV term, but equation 8.13b doesn't have the temperature term T on the right-hand side. But we know that the temperature of a gas is proportional to the mean kinetic energy of its molecules. And we also know that the mean kinetic energy of its molecules is equal to half mc squared, where c is the root mean square speed of a gas molecule. So looking at equation 8.13b, we can replace the mc squared by a proportionality to temperature. And we can rewrite the equation as a proportionality like this. We'll leave the third n na terms in for now, but we replace the mc squared term by temperature. But any proportionality can be replaced by equal to and a constant so we can re rewrite the proportionality as an equation like this. Again, we'll leave in the third n na terms for now, but we'll write a constant times temperature. Finally, we can combine all the constants into a single constant, R, like this. Notice that we've left the N term, the, that's the amount of gas in moles, we've left that as a variable, but we've combined the one-third Na and the proportionality constant into a single constant, R. And of course, that is the ideal gas equation. So the equation derived completely from the kinetic theory corresponds exactly to the ideal gas equation, which is an empirical law derived completely from experiments. Whenever we find there's a law derived from a theory, in this case the kinetic theory of gases, corresponds to an experimental law, it strengthens our confidence in the theory.